Hey, everybody, we're back here with the star of A Doll's House on Broadway, Jessica Chastain. Now, what do you do to your room? There's all these different things uh, that people do to make sure that their room in a Broadway house. This is at the Hudson. The Hudson Which, Theater. by the way, you know, it's fascinating. The Hudson is where The Tonight Show started. That's it oh, was I didn't in there. That. Steve Allen started. It was originally in the Hudson Theater. Oh, it's a beautiful theater. Yeah, it's an amazing old place. And um, is, is there, what do you do to make your dressing room yours? Well, it depends on the character I'm playing. I mean, this one, they're painting it the same color as the. I don't want to give too much away, as the set, because Nora's quiet, she's stuck in this world in a yes. bit. So I wanted to enter my dressing room and feel like I'm in the world already. But I also want to be inspired by the women that have come before me. And so usually I have a lot of photographs of actresses. So Isabel Huppert mm. and Lee Volman and Vanessa Redgrave and these incredible women that I've had the opportunity to work with, mm. Catherine Deneuve, who I've sadly haven't not yet had the opportunity to work with. But there are so many women out there that have been so monumental in my growth as a human being. And that I just, looking at their faces, it just makes me feel like I can do more. So that's exciting to see before I go on stage. Mm -hmm. Any snacks or anything? Anything you need? Refreshments? I mean, listen, I also have a foot massager. <laughs> Not a What's person. His name? I'm exactly. About to say. <laughs> no machine. No I, machine. I definitely, I have a foot massager, a humidifier. Um, sure. Blanton's bourbon. Blanton's bourbon. Yeah. All right. I'm very specific about that. Has oh, to be wow. Blanton's. Oh, that's right. A little racehorse on the top. Yes. There you go. And they, it's hard to find sometimes. It is. Not in my office, it's not. <laughs> not in <laughs> mine either. <laughs> now, the, this production of A Doll's House is it's an adaptation of the of the 19th century Ib Ibsen play. Yeah. And sort of to be very reductive about it, Nora is trapped with Torvald. Yes. Yeah. How, how is this? How does this differ? What is the, your interpretation of this in some way differ from that? Well, what's so wonderful about this adaptation, written by Amy Herzog, mm -hmm. who's an incredible American playwright, and you know, under the guidance of Jamie Lloyd, the director, who really he's the reason I'm back. He's the one who kind of brought me back to the theater. Um, <clears throat> as we're looking at Nora, yes, she was trapped when when that play was written, but we look at it as as like, why are we t telling the story now? How, in some sense, is Nora trapped in society? And how is she participating in her entrapment? Um, how is she behaving in a certain way to gain power? And it's a scary thing to decide, like, OK, I'm going to stop behaving in this way that you see value in in order to figure out who I really am. And I think that's important for women even today when we but, think about where the value lies. So do you, do you mean, in, in this case, is the value or the power of her position as a wife of Torvald? Yes, or also as um, this helpless, sweet, childlike little bird. I mean, if you look at throughout, even in our cinema, um, you know, Marilyn Monroe, you think about all of these incredible women sometimes have had to make themselves smaller in order to be desired or valued. And um, what happens when you actually say, no, I'm going <laughs> to use my full voice <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to take up this space. A preview start the week of Valentine's yes. Day. Is it a good date <laughs> play? Some may think no, because the ending, we don't want to give anything away. Um, but I think it is, because Valentine's Day, to me, has been co-opted by people who want to sell couples things, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think Valentine's Day should be more about love. You know, a lot of women get together and celebrate their friendships and, and you know, people give Valentine's to their children. And yes, we give them to our partners as well. But if, if we can also maybe use Valentine's Day as something about self-love, then I think it's the perfect Valentine's Day play. That sounds lovely. <laughs> well, lovely to see you again. Nice Thank you so much you. for being here, Jessica. Thank you. Previews of A Doll's House start February 13th at the Hudson Theater. Jessica Chastain, everybody. We'll be right back with New York Times bestselling author Jay Shetty.